Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Again, this is Kevin. Today, I'm going to talk, to talk about installing addictive keys for Ableton. So, if you would see in my um, Ableton Live, I have an instrument instrument rack here for piano and keys. So I have the grand piano instrument, but I still I'm still using addictive keys because I f think the addictive keys sounds better than the pro grand piano provided in Ableton Live. So if we would try the grand piano provided in Ableton, you need to insert a certain MIDI track. Then you have to drag your grand piano here. Ch change this to input. Then let's play. Let's try additive keys. So for myself, I prefer the addictive keys, although there's not much difference between the two. Yeah, so if we're going to install addictive keys, then you have to go to Excel and Ocho. You would see the products they have for addictive keys. So you can purchase Modern Upright Studio Grand, Electric Grand or Mark 1, or you have the option of purchasing the whole set in one purchase or just two or just three. In order to install addictive keys, um, you need an excellent online installer. I will show you this thing later. So it's available for both Mac OS and Windows. And then once you have installed the online installer, you have to open the DMG file and then create your username and password Usually it's a PIN number for this one, so you can use the same PIN number for your um, MacBook. And then straight away you would go to the installation. So later I will show you how it's done. And then um, if, for example, for my case, you have a uh, addictive case that is free, uh, provided in the Scarlett Focusrite the audio interface that I purchased, it would come with the serial number. You just need to open the uh, Scarlett Focusrite app and then you can find the serial number there. Then you can register it here. So you can download it in your Excel and online installer. So system requirements. What? So for Grand Piano, which I installed for myself, it can be used for both PC and Mac OS, at, at least um, Windows 7. Then for OS, it's 10.7. can be used for both Intel and M1 chip. You need a 2GB RAM, 4GB as recommended, then approximately 700 MB of free disk space. Okay, so you can use it for... You can use it as, uh, you could use it, sorry, as a standalone or supported hosts like Ableton, Pro Tools, Cubase, Logic Pro, Reaper 5, etc. So in order to purchase this, you need to have an account, which for myself I have, and then you have to pay and then download the online installer. Once you have the online installer installed, you just click And then 
input the um, So once you have logged in in your online installer, you would see it here. But for my case, because I have my um, addictive keys here already installed and addictive drums, that's why they're on this portion of the Excel, Excel and online installer. So if it's here, then you just click add now, then it will be installed accordingly. Then during installation, I suggest that you just follow the installation sequence some videos they will um, show you how to uh, place the files in a different folder location but uh, for my case to remove any issues when i'm using the product i just follow the installation sequence so after installation you need to scan your app uh, addictive keys plugin in your Ableton Live then you just have to go to preferences and then rescan and then it would automatically locate your plugin so your plugin will be found here so you have your addictive keys here and again if you want to use this you just insert a MIDI track then drag it there So usually once you drag it, the additive keys um, window will open up. So you can close this here and you can call it up using by clicking this spanner button. And then you can make adjustments on your addictive keys app or plugin. Then if you want to play, just click but then you just play again. So I think that's about it for installing addictive keys. If you learned something today, please click like. Then if you want to see my other videos, please click subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.